Welcome back to the survey. This is part three. We're continuing left off of shit getting real and us learning that the parents of this family are really shit. And I wish the family would die. Except for the brother and sister. The, the brother. Hi. Are you supposed to be Lilith? I'm just going to ignore and hope you don't see or kill me. That would be great. I might have to go in there. Oh. The TVs are connected. Confusing. I don't know what that means. The downstairs TV I don't think shows that, but yeah. Uh, you're still in there. I don't want to enter there, you know? I'm going to check on the TV downstairs. The TV is absolutely nothing. I, I wonder if I should keep the TVs on. I, 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 I don't know. We're going to walk in the room and just hope it doesn't kill us. I, I don't know if it's the kind of game that has a game over or or death sequence or anything, but hi! How are you? Oh, um, okay. No, I'm in the door closed behind me, I think. Death of two... Death of two siblings? Aw, oh, man. That sucks. Two bodies were recovered after a file erupted inside a suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night, as neighbors were the ones to report the incident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and sister in their late teens. The two were home alone while their mother was on a business trip. The brother was going to high school and also worked a part-time job at a grocery. How the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked over could have caused the tragedy. Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause, but aren't suspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. The, the circumstances? Oh, okay. Very, uh, you know... You know, what, 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 what closed? I thought it was the door behind me. Hi! Oh. This again. This again? I'm just gonna slowly wander cl closer. Can I just close the door on you? That'd be great. Stab noise! Another stab noise! Okay, enough with the stabbing noises, please. Eight times. Wait. Eight nine two six four. Did I already write that down? Eight two nine six four. That's that. That was what uh would be on the the chalkboards. Why are you saying that? For phone? The error is a little different. Oh, what is all this? How are you doing? I know it must be hard for you with college work and taking care of love. Why well, am I taking care of love? I'm at a hotel right now. I'm supposed to meet my clients tomorrow. I should be back within a week. Stay strong, mom. Huh. Yeah. He watched her writhing in pain as her condition set in, knowing nothing could be done to help her among all her family. She Nine, loved him two, the most. Six, four, Yet. Turn around. Eight, Again nine, with the turnarounds! Two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, okay, turn four. around. Nothing. Nothing. Eight, We're moving nine, on. Two, six, also, turning on lights when I can. This is way too dark for my, uh, my own comfort. Okay, where the fuck are the light switches? Uh, light switches? Light switches. Hello. I like when the light switches are on. They they make me feel secure. No, oh, this one's still busted. I'll just leave it off. I don't like how dark it is. There we go. Another light switch activated. And I feel a little more secure. Where's a light switch right here? Right over here? Question mark? So what is the password? Oh, that's crazy. Interesting lighting. What is the the code for? Oh god. 
I'm that that was the wrong one. Can I revert it? That that was wrong. You know it's eight eight nine two six four. That's not eight, that's nine. But what does that spell? Let me let me try to let me put the words together because there's letters. I wanna see what it means. Well, Alright, well I put the letters down and it apparently it says Godspeed. But instead of it being S P or I, no, it's God Godspeed? Not not speed, but I mean it's G O D dot S D E A D. Or no wait. Oh I think it's supposed to be saying God is dead. That's that's probably it. God is dead. That's what it says. God is dead. I don't know why they'd say that, but sure. So outside of that and it's saying God is dead, uh we still have to do probably the coding of each of the chalkboards. The the right ones, of course. I need to find eight and do it first. Cause I already fucked it up. Here's eight. Oh, what? Okay, what? Whatever. Now we have to find nine. If it wasn't, it was the one little TV room. So I will click that again. Now I'll find two. Two. Six. And four. Where was four again? Ah. Uh... Oh, wait, we're over here. There we go. Was that not it? Huh. Well, I hit it and it just keeps doing the static, but I. Am I doing it wrong then? Hmm. Huh. Oh, wait, this did. Oh, that's why. I. It. I had to do it all for it to reset, I think, because every the chalkboard things are all up now. Okay, well, I'm going to do it right this time of 8, 9, 2, 6, 4. Hopefully it won't be static each time. Well, it's still a static, but hopefully that's the right kind of static. And it's right back. Alright, well, I think I did it right, unless it's going to respawn again like it did before. Still on the ground. Hopefully I did it right. I, I I don't know. What am I supposed to do now? Tips. Yeah, find the pictures hanging on the walls with these new windows. Activate them in this order. It will open a door. Retrieve the note inside. I did do that though. A door opening. Did it really? Oh this. Oh okay, it did open a door. The screaming, the crying, can you hear it? For eternity there lived, and for one more I shall live on? Or there lived. Trapped inside these memories with the devil himself. A little, little over dramatic, but okay. Birds! And some, some happy little clouds and happy little trees. Uh All right, what's in here? Dead body? No. So I expecting a jump scare. But sure. Let's read it. Two smashing noises. I can't move. Today I woke up and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I try to get out of bed, but I can barely turn my body without feeling pain. Update. My parents took me to the hospital just in case it was severe or life-threatening, but the staff seemed to be clueless as to what I actually have. They said they will need to complete further x-rays, possibly even an MRI, to uh, in order to verify their diagnosis. Hopefully I won't have to paint or anything. I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream, because in a way it felt like it lasted forever. Huh. I see? He had a haunting grin on his face as if her suffer filled his heart with delight. For the first time in a long time, he felt joy. I don't know why, really. It's a weird twist for him to, uh, enjoy, even though the sister was nice the whole time? Like, why? Oh, these two paintings dropped. 
All right, well, I guess I'll be investigating and wandering around. Seeing if I can find out what I'm meant to do next. So why did the brother turn evil, though? I mean, just because his alcoholic... Hmm. Where now? Outside? TV room? Like an alcoholic father, sure. Uh, shitty parents, sure, but why would he just turn overall sociopathic and evil? I don't know, it, it doesn't match up to me. To the Walker family. We had some difficulty in regards to diagnosing your daughter's specific condition, but we have concluded that it is fibro fibrodysplasia. Ossificans. Progressive. It is very rare, but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified, basically turning into bone. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body that results in this condition. There are treatment options to slow down the process of the condition, but I admit the future looks fairly grim. In all honesty, this is what will eventually happen. The disease will spread throughout her body until most of her soft tissue, including tendons, ligaments, and even muscles, will become ossified. The most we can do is provide medication in order to relieve the pain, but other than that, the condition has always been fatal. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40 if she is lucky. Please let us know what direction you would like to take. Thank you for your patience. Dr. Gammon! I see. It's a pretty shitty diagnosis, I do admit. Pretty shitty. What now do they want? It's a great painting. It's, great. it's a very great. Where's the crying coming from? In here? It, it sounds like it's at the front door. Why is it, is it like coming from this painting? I think it is. I mean... Is that supposed to be like the brother? Or... Or the sister, after turning ossified. I don't know. Why is this still up? Oh, here we go, another note. I didn't see this one. Yeah, the... The breathing is getting weird. My parents took a little to the hospital after my sister said she felt immobile around her hip. She said it felt completely stiff, as if all the muscles surrounding her hip had turned to bone. The other day, Dad threw me down the stairs because the Lilith paintings weren't selling as much as they used to. He thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to paint better, as he phrased it. I dislocated my shoulder on the way down. After repositioning the joint back into the socket, I made a sling with some old rags I found in the closet. It still stings, but it should heal within a few weeks to a couple of months. School isn't too bad. I'm working on this little project with some of my friends. We're trying to create our own braking system for a car. Something that can be controlled remotely. I wonder if I can reverse engineer it to do the opposite task and maybe cancel the braking system remotely. That would be an interesting challenge as long as I don't have to stay home, right? Hmm, something can be controlled. I wonder if I can reverse engineer to do the opposite task to making it so what a car crash happens with the parents? Sure. Okay, hey, where does the fucking crying come from this time, man? Don't cry in front of me like that. Pizza! Why is there a board that just says pizza? I mean, I love pizza, but what does this mean? Hmm? Wait, what? I didn't close that door. Yeah. Um, what? According to a recent poll, infidelity is at an all-time high. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker, the two married and bore a daughter Lilith, who was very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Lilith's talents, her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. 
Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the Walkers to become financially stable, simply by selling Lilith's art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs, as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from 5,000 to 15,000 dollars notes. a piece, depending on the buyer. Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means, taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. It started off with Joseph burning Marcus with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. Mm -hmm. He couldn't have been happier. Mm -hmm. He couldn't have been happier. God, my nose is my nose is so itchy. Okay, I get it. He locked me in this room to re-explain everything I already knew, but then added some more information, which is okay. But you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's uh, can I leave now? Well, you're not gonna let me out. Don't tell me you're just gonna cry behind the door, then bust it open and spook me. Okay, well, I turn off the lights. Is that what you want? Can I can I hide in the closet? Is that, is that, is that what I'm... Is that what I'm supposed to do? No? Hi? I'll just go really close to the door. Hi. Yes? Hello? This is dog. Yes, what? Mm. <sighs> it's not like it's tense because it's lasting a long time. I want to get out of here. Open it already. Slowly if you have to. Or not. Okay, I guess. Stomp away. And leave a note behind. Alright, what does it say? My parents gave me the news, so I have this condition called uh, fibro <sighs> fibrodysplasia ossificans progressive. Uh, basically, it's a condition where my soft tissue ligaments are let turn into bone. This eventually I'll lose mobility in my arms, legs, everywhere until I I'll need to take care. Uh, wait, heck, everywhere until I'll need to take. I'll need a caretaker to basically do everything for me. Right now, I feel it in my arms and torso. For now, I just sort of stay in bed. It hurts to walk. And I can't really exercise or damage my body in any way, or else sp speed up the process. I mean, I'm only 15, so this is a lot to take in. Knowing that I'll slowly become more and more immobile, it's a bit ironic, isn't it? I wish that I could stop painting, or that I wouldn't have to anymore. And this was the answer I received. The best they could do was prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now, there's a good chance that I won't be able to walk, and I'll be in a wheelchair or worse. I just hope my family will be stable without my help. 
I'll be a pretty big burden. The other day, I overheard my parents arguing my mom brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault. Even with all that shit said and all that shit, she's still thinking of others. And also blaming herself for everything. Kind of a nice person. It would be a shame if a personality that, that, that was that kind ends up with that kind of shitty result. It's kind of shitty. Outside of that, I'm gonna have to leave it here. Uh, this, take, this has been way too long. I'm trying to beat this game in one sitting. So I hope you've enjoyed this and you'll continue to look forward to it. If you do enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, and I thank you for watching. Until the next time. See? Nothing. <gasps> he, he's under your bed, Alicia. Oh, help, help me. <laughs> You're too easy to scare, Alicia. Now go to sleep, otherwise I'll say the words that make him come. Please don't. I'll say the words that make him come, huh? Okay, that doesn't sound right. <laughs>